Welcome to News Click. Today we'll be discussing with D. Raghunandan, our defense expert, uh, the, ca the case of Augusta Westland, uh, so called bribe uh, and corruption scam. In February 2010, Government of India had signed a contract with Augusta Westland for supply of 12 uh, helicopters for VVIPs. Uh, in February 2013, three years after signing the contract, Government of India, the Ministry of Defense, suspended the contract because uh, there was, uh, in Italy, there were, report, there were allegations which were level against the parent company, Finn Mechanica, which owns Augusta Westland Com uh, Corporation, uh, for having paid bribes to get this contract. Government of India suspended the contract, but then subsequently in 2014, before the government's term came to an end, A.K. Anthony, then uh, Union Minister of Defense, cancelled the contract. Raghu, my first question to you is, government of India in 2013 suspended and subsequently in 2014 uh, cancelled the contract. So what is the nature of of corruption in the Augusta Westland deal, uh, which takes up so much of media space? Well, two things are there. Uh, the first is that the terms of reference for the helicopter purchase were modified during the course of the uh, contract negotiations. There was earlier a height uh, prescribed for uh, mm. eligibility of the copter, which was then brought to a lower height level, which then made Augusta Westland uh, eligible for the contract. Otherwise, it would not have been. What is the significance of this lowering of height? See, the, the significance would have been that the uh, VVIP helicopter routes in India are fixed, keeping in mind that VIPs are also transported to high altitude uh, airports, particularly the Siachen uh, Glacier mm -hmm. and surrounding areas. But if you prescribe a lower limit, and if VIP helicopters are not able to reach those limits, then you're back to ferrying them on Air Force uh, helicopters. So that was the idea, and lowering of the uh, ceiling has enabled Augusta Westland to bid for the uh, contract. Which committee decides uh, on the on the height of the... So uh, this would have been in fixing the qualitative requirements. And in the process of fixing the qualitative requirements, the funny thing was that this change seems to have been made midway rather than right in the beginning. So there was a revision of the terms midway through... Uh, the process. And that is what has triggered the interest from the Indian side. And then when the Italian court said there has been bribe taking, two and two got added uh, together and the hackles went up uh, here in India and there was suspension of the deal as you said and then later a cancellation. Now in the, uh, this case has gone through various uh, you know, a ch chapter, so to say, uh, like in a drama of the which is unfolding. Because the last we heard, Italy's highest court in January 2018 acquitted all the accused and said that they found no evidence of bribery. Now, if the Italian court came to that conclusion, then wherein lies the problem? Yeah. Uh, Two aspects, I think, need to be kept in mind here. One is that the proceedings in Italy have not been um, incontroversial. Okay. Uh, there was controversy when the Italian courts first ruled that uh, there was bribery. And then there was controversy when the courts ruled that there was insufficient evidence to initiate proceedings on bribery uh, charges. That makes it very difficult now for an outside party like in India 
to decide which court ruling was appropriate or not. We also must keep in mind that it's not as if the ruling has given a clear chit, mm. but that it said it was unable to find evidence of uh, guilt sufficient to uh, convict. On the Indian side, the problem is, and there is a court case pending, so I don't want to comment too much on it, but there were suspicions that uh, high-ranking officials uh, who were part of the committee, who may have uh, been responsible for changing the uh, height eligibility uh, requirements, may have been in receipt of uh, payments as uh, middlemen or as service providers, uh, etc., either they themselves or their close uh, relatives. And there's a court case pending on that in India. So there seems to be some evidence on the Indian side mm -hmm. that there was some wrongdoing there. And if the Italian court's findings had gelled with this, it would have added uh, ammunition to the case in the Indian courts. So right now there is a bit of uncertainty involved in this, plus the fact that over a period of time, some of the leading figures on the Fin Mechanica uh, side have come under clouds of suspicion of their own. Mm. Uh, and each has uh, thrown uh, some dust in the eyes of the other. And that has added grist to this uh, mill of suspicion which surrounds the deal. So right now it's a bit murky. Okay. And uh, one wishes that there had been a little more definitive uh, evidence, either on the Italian side or on the Indian side. What about the role of so-called Christian Michel, yes. which uh, the CBI and the Enforcement Directorate uh, and the BJP yes. is making uh, much of? See, this is the problem that I was just referring to. There is Christian Michel on the one hand, and there is Guido Hashke on the other. Yes. These are the two principles. And the who, chairman of Fin Mechanica also. That's right. And they were, these were the principles who seemed to have been involved. Now, over the years, each of them has thrown accusations at the other. Mm -hmm. And Christian Michel has continuously maintained that he knows that bribes were uh, given and that uh, Hashke is the person who knows the answer to these uh, questions. So it looks as if, as I said, there is some muck uh, involved there and which needs to be unraveled. The surprising part to me is the one-sided way in which the present government, the BJP government, is pursuing this uh, process. In the way in which I outlined it, if there is some murky dealings involved, in terms of revision of the qualitative requirements and the height mm -hmm. specification. If there is sufficient evidence of bribe taking on the Indian side, that would have been one thing. And if the BJP government had conducted an impartial inquiry into it. But the way the proceedings are being conducted lends uh, suspicion to the idea that the BJP is cherry picking from possible evidence. And as we know, much of the investigation, certainly in the initial periods and in the absence of uh, corroborative evidence from Italy, is in the nature of innuendo. Mm -hmm. And we also know from, from the past various CBI and other inquiries in India, there are selective leaks to the press, which are more in the nature of innuendo some tidbits of information which are leaked to make it appear that there has been uh, discovery of solid evidence, which may or may not stand scrutiny of the courts. That's where we seem to be now. And uh, to my mind, it's a bit doubtful whether the uh, uh, bringing to India of Christian Michel uh, the way in which the Indian justice system proceeds, uh, which is you uh, 
virtually incarcerate the person who is assisting you mm. in the inquiry. And then you proceed to make investigations. Whereas I would have assumed a process of natural justice would involve having at least some prima facie solid evidence before you incarcerate somebody and follow up the information. Doing it this way looks as if there may be pressure being brought on Christian Michel to give evidence in a certain way. And well, Christian Michel himself has been suggesting that he is being implicated in order to implicate uh, Sonia and, and Rahul, Rahul Gandhi. Uh, Gandhi, of which there had been no prior evidence in the past. Vague references are being dropped about notings on various diaries to the family. Earlier, uh, the family was believed to re uh, refer to the family of senior Air Force officials who may or may not have been responsible for changing mm. the specifications of the helicopter. These things don't lend credibility to... Uh, also, to the process. very manner in which we got uh, exactly. Christian Michel so, extradited. Extradited. It, so, that, we just don't know. And frankly speaking, the way in which the CBI, the Enforcement Directorate, and other agencies of the government are being used today to selectively go after opponents of the current government uh, has already detracted from the credibility of these agencies. And when target is being made of Rahul and Sonia Gandhi, who even during the days when A.K. Antony was looking at it and he stopped the proceedings, instituted uh, an inquiry, there was no suggestion that these were uh, uh, people were involved in the... Uh, proceedings in any way. This seems to be an afterthought which is then being pursued in order to gather evidence to prove what you assume uh, to be true. You think this could, uh, uh, there are t two uh, issues that, uh, that have been raised in, in, in the media. One is look at the size of the of the corruption. According to the CBI, the total sum that they are talking about as which was paid as bribes uh, amounts to rupees 256 crores in a, in a, in a country where the scale of uh, defense and other scams have run into thousands of crores. Right. This sounds like a, yeah. a small amount, which yeah. is not to say that this yeah, therefore sure. should not be sure. considered, sure. but that should be kept in mind. On the other side, as you yourself pointed out, that it was A.K. Antony who first suspended, then cancelled, yes. and uh, instituted in the CBI inquiry. Absolutely. Now, the, um, the question that is being asked is, why would the UPA 2 and that Quite. 2 union minister uh, belonging to Congress party do all this, do if, all this if, if the party itself yeah. was involved? So, to my mind, if I can sum up my perception on this, uh, I think the present government is going into this in a way uh, to utilize the CBI in a manner that would cast sufficient innuendo, uh, which is not going to get resolved either way before the next elections. Uh, and the innuendo and the process itself uh, would then lend grist to the mill of the BJP in the you days. You mean throw and as much of mud as possible That's so right. that some would stick. That's right. This so, is not to say that I'm not ruling out the possibility of anybody being involved, yeah, yeah. but this seems to me to be a perception uh, going by the known facts of earlier investigations, uh, etc. I don't know if mm. there were an impartial inquiry if one could have expected an impartial inquiry under the present dispensation, maybe we would have known the truth. Uh, that's all for today. Uh, but Augusta Westland, again, is an issue of, uh, on which we'll be coming back as more information uh, comes out in, in public domain, uh, which will then decide whether the, the innuendos that are being made are actually are backed by facts or these are just electoral uh, gimmickry 
in order to indict an opposition party for scam. Uh, thank you for watching News Click. If you have any feedback, do get back to us.